So, you capture us today, not in the van, although we are here in the van. We are on the Great Central Railway in Loughborough. Um, they allow overnight camper vanners, so we're parked on the car park, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, at Corn. At Corn and Woodhouse Station. Yeah. We're currently filming the intro at Leicester North because we recorded it in slow-mo <laughs> in the van. We have terrible issues with the camera at the minute, flicking over to the wrong speed. I uh, don't know what's going on and I only noticed so some of it. if you want to see us slow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, we're retro refilming the intro now while we're on the plane. <laughs> I happened to just notice while we were coming along. Thank God. So yeah, my name's Rick and I'm a train spotter. <laughs> Not really, but I do like railways now. Obviously, all He's got three... an rack and a... And a... <laughs> she butts in all the time. <laughs> right, so normally Class. we... Have you finished? <laughs> Bloody hell. I'm trying to get this done before someone comes in the carriage. <laughs> right, so normally when we go away in the van, we do go on a lot of preserved railways, but last year with the pandemic still being sort of about, if you like, um, you had to pre-book all your carriages, you couldn't get off the train, it was a bit of a faff, you had to keep your mask on. Now I'm not anti-mask at all, but now we're open up, we can do what we like. So we're back to it. We'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so this is Rothley Station, or Rothley, depending on where you come from. Uh, as I say, this line has four stations. You start off at Loughborough, you've then got Corner Woodhouse, Rothley, Rothley, and Leicester North. We've parked the van at Corner Woodhouse. You can camp there overnight. £13 with the electric hookup, which we didn't think was bad. And uh, then We've got a full day on here, well I have, Heather's going back to the van to watch the rugby later, aren't you? Yes, but yes. you'll be back for the second game. Yeah, I'll be back for the second game. I don't like the trains, I don't like the trains. <laughs> What's up with you? Don't like the whistles, do you? No. No. So, just coming in, 800080. Nearly says boobs, doesn't it? Like on a calculator.
This is Loughborough Station. This one gets used in a lot of TV filming. So here you can see the uh, the loco that we've just had take us down to uh, Loughborough. It's just uh, disconnected itself from the carriages and uh, he's putting some more water on. Just approaching Corn and Woodhouse Station, and uh, on the right hand side, you'll see just past the signal box, there's a, an old Morris Miner. Needs a bit of work doing on it. I'm gonna have a walk down there and, and have a look at that in a bit. But there we see bedroom for the night. You'll all recognize that van there, look. It's going to be a quiet night on our own, I think. There we go. There's Pearl. Anyway, we've got to get off at this one. Swap trains. Departing Corn and Woodhouse now on the DMU. Let's see if Heather has got back to the van and he's waving. Or oh, she's too busy setting the telly up for the rugby, I imagine. Double wave! So here we are, back in the van, watching the rugby while the uh, <laughs> while the train spotter goes back with his anorak and his uh, flask actually it's a can of pop but uh, um, and uh, just so that you can see there's Poppy waiting for daddy <laughs> but we're quite happy watching the rugby um, we've got to try and catch his train coming in which happens to coincide with half time so we should be okay Hello, Heather and Poppy. Can you see him, Pop? Can you see him? I spy a Heather and a Poppy. It's very windy. Probably won't hear any of this. Oh, somebody's excited to see me. Are you excited, Pops? Have I been gone for a long time? Yeah. Forever. 
filming you filming me right here's that uh, Morris Minor that I noticed from the train Morris Minor 1000 think about that must be fairly old it's got uh, side indicators on it or at least a hole from I've been to Mablethorpe. Never mind, eh? We won't hold that against you. There you go, then. That's our pitch for tonight. Uh, can't be bad. 13 quid with electric hookup and a pretty decent view. <laughs> yeah? Pub stopovers are so last year. What you want is train stopovers. And there is, if I just uh, walk up here, which we may pop to later, um, just at the end of the road where we came in, there is a pub. Isn't that good? Oh yeah. Cornwood Ave Station. Pub stopover, stroke train stopover. So yeah, there's a cafe. Um, I'll just walk up there actually, might as well. Here's the tea room, Butler Henderson Cafe Bistro. And the pub is literally just over there. I'm gonna go in here, I've been sent for cake. So hopefully they've got some. Cake has been bought. Not the cheapest cake in the world at £2.50 a slice. But you have to support these railways. Uh, it's all volunteer stuff. So there you go. Nice cup of tea with that now when the rugby's finished before the England Wales game, I think. It's time for the pub. <laughs> what you got? Thatcher's Old Rascal. Very appropriate name. <laughs> mix on. Salvation, because I need it. <laughs> that's, that's the same thing I was drinking at that canal side pub Sorley Marina Sorley Marina the micro bub micro bub the micro bub brewery <laughs> Cholwood Brewery that they salvations from apparently he's a good looking chap isn't he uh, it's hurry freezing up, hurry up. we're going back in the van now come out of the pub Cold. It's gonna be a cold one tonight. Uh, you can see all the stars. See you in the like morning. See you. <laughs> yeah, brown stars. <laughs> see you in the morning. Goodbye. to see this yourself guys just uh, get in and drive up here or of course you could always uh, look at it on google maps or even better subscribe to our channel when you see more of this <laughs> kind of stuff oh yes wizard in the wild wizard in the wild we go there so you don't have to <laughs> but we'd love you to because it is gorgeous 
Morning, morning. Morning. So, as he goes out of shot, taking, the, hand, cone, taking the handbrake off. Can you see that cone? Yes, I can see the cone. <laughs> That's it then. A lovely night's sleep. Uh, really quiet. Uh, yeah. We did we did pop to the pub over the road. They you did. May see. They run some late night trains. Obviously, that must be for members or something. So we got a few trains till ten o'clock ish. I'd imagine something like that. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice to watch that. I did try and film one, but it's too dark really. Anyway. Did you not see it at all then? Yeah, it just looked a bit blurry. Did you delete that then? No, I haven't deleted it. Oh, well, you might it might be it on there, you know. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't edited it yet. This is live for us. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the one thing to mention is you do get locked in overnight. There's a set of double gates, which I'm going to show you as we drive out. The guy does give you the padlock code. It's a combination code. And it is a bit fiddly when you're trying to juggle a torch, a dog, um, and you've been to the pub. But oh no, it was easier coming back. It was easier coming back because <laughs> we remembered the number. <laughs> we were there going, is it blah, blah, blah? Oh, I think he said blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you'll see it now. So yeah, we're just leaving. This is the little tea rooms. Excellent cake yesterday. Yes, very nice. Very nice cake. Just, uh, you know, quite expensive. But like I say, these little heritage lines, we like to support them. £2.50 for a slice of cake isn't that bad. It wasn't a massive slice of cake. It though, wasn't was a bad size slice of cake. It wasn't massive. Mm. Even for a man on a diet. Lost a stone though, thanks for asking. <laughs> so you can't punch me in the face, like I said. There's the gates, look. Anyway, and then we'll just show you the pub, because I did sort of film it in the dark, but it's called the Manor, Manor House or something? Manor yeah. Hotel, something, I don't know. Manor. The Manor House. Anyway, it's literally, as we pull out, you might not see it. I'll do a swing. It's just there, look. Yeah, you can just about see it. Hold on, do you want me to? Yeah, I'm going right anyway, aren't I? Yeah. That's all right, I needed to pull round to go right. I was going to say, I can, I can look for it. No, you're all right, it's all right. I'm... Just uh, amuse yourself, viewers. Talk to the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a beautiful morning. Um, uh, I'd, although we... We put the put the screen cover on. Rick put the screen cover on. It was covered in frost. It was covered in frost, so it's now in the in the shower drying up. In the shower. Um, yeah, it's two degrees now. Ten past eight in the morning. Why do we leave so early on a Sunday? I hear you ask. Simply because we've still got the whole of Sunday. And in case you didn't notice, I have another channel for cars. Do you? Gonna, yeah, I do. Yeah. What's it called? It's called. Agatha and everything, anything. Anyway, I've changed the name of it. Even I'm confused. <laughs> Agatha and anything, or Austin Allegra Agatha. Anyway, triple A. Triple A, man. Yeah, I'm triple yeah. A rated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get that film, man. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. What film's that from? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going now. I've got car videos to film. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Which way am I going? Left. See, she doesn't tell me, does she? <laughs> I know I came down here yesterday, but I forgot. Turned right. <laughs> so. Oh, that's what's confused me. <laughs> have to go the opposite. All uh, right, okay. <laughs> See you later, people. Bye-bye.